putting the bobbin in. Remember, there are two types of bobbins, vertical front loading or drop-in. You need to identify what kind your machine has. As drop-in bobbins are the most common in modern sewing machines, we're gonna start here. However, even if you have a vertical loading bobbin, I really recommend watching this portion of the class too. The way the bobbin tension is threaded helps make the vertical loading system make more sense. Now remove your full bobbin from the bobbin winder. Remove the trap door covering your bobbin loader. Be sure to place the trap door covering to the side where you won't lose it. Pull the thread off the bobbin to the left side. The curve of the bobbin and the tail coming off of it should create the shape of a P. This is easy to remember if you think P for perfect. Doing this guarantees that the bobbin has the correct tension and will stay threaded while you are sewing. Drop the bobbin in place, still having the thread come off the left hand side. Pull the thread forward through the first slit and then toward the back of the machine. This is threading the tension space. To double check that the tension has been threaded correctly, you can gently pull the bobbin back up while holding the tail in place. The tail of the thread should be at a sharp angle. If it is not, you can flip it upside down so it is correct. Once correct, you can put the bobbin back in place. Once the bobbin is in place, you can move on to the top thread. Leave the trapdoor off of your bobbin loader for now, as it will make raising the bobbin thread easier later on. Vertical loading machines are the more old school way of loading a bobbin in. This method can be a little more confusing, so I do recommend watching the drop-in bobbin loading system, as it does give a better base level for you to understand how to thread the tension on a front loading machine. Open the bobbin door and remove the bobbin casing by holding on to the hinge handle. Remove the full bobbin from the bobbin winder. Pull the thread off the bobbin to the right side. The curve of the bobbin and the tail should be able to create the shape of a lower case Q. This is the opposite direction of the drop-in bobbin. It is important to make sure the direction is correct though, as doing so guarantees that the bobbin has tension and will stay threaded while you are sewing. Hold the bobbin casing, this time without holding the hinge handle. Place the bobbin in the casing, still having the thread come off the right hand side. Pull the thread through the slit and then backwards, sliding it in between the casing and the outer strip of metal. Pull until the thread comes out the opening on the side. This step is threading the bobbin tension. To double check that the tension has been threaded correctly, you can gently pop the bobbin back out while holding the tail in place. The tail of the thread should be at a sharp angle. If it is not, you can flip it upside down so it is correct. Once correct, you can put the bobbin back in place. Once the bobbin is in the bobbin casing correctly, again holds the casing by the hinge handle. The hinged handle locks the bobbin into the casing Prevent it from falling out while you are loading it into the machine. Use this to put the casing into the machine, making sure the small arm of the casing is facing up. The casing will fit snugly into the machine. There is only one way for it to fit in, so if it doesn't fit snugly, it isn't in correctly. Leave the bobbin door open for now, 
as it makes raising the bobbin thread easier later on. Once the bobbin is in place, we can move on to threading the top of your sewing machine. Be sure to leave the bobbin door open as it will make a step in the threading process much easier later on. 